Hello, everyone. This is Alonzo from alonzosblog.com. I was 16 years in Scientology, 15 years in anti-Scientology, and I've been eight years out of both. Today, I have a very concerning thing that I am completely confused about, and I am hoping that there are people more knowledgeable than I am on the subject of cancer in my comments. So I please invite everyone to correct or to educate me on what I'm seeing and I'm completely confused about. So I want to just go ahead and play for you what Aaron Smith Levin said in his last live about Mike Rinder's cancer. By the way, for anyone who goes, how can you guys be attacking someone who's battling cancer? Guys, based on Mike Rinder's own videos, Mike Rinder does no longer have cancer. I'm not telling secrets out of school. Maybe you guys don't watch all of Mike's videos. Mike's last two PET scans have been completely cancer-free. Mike Rinder never had cancerous tumors in his body. He had fluid that was accumulating in his lungs. The fluid was testing positive for cancer. After many, many, many tests. Okay, here, here's where my first confusion comes. And I'm hoping that people who are more knowledgeable than I am can clear this up. Aaron says here, Mike Rinder never had cancerous tumors in his body. But it is my understanding that stage four cancer, this is from cancersitter.com. Stage four cancer is spread from its original location to distant parts of the body. It's sometimes referred to as metastatic cancer. This stage may, may be diagnosed years after the initial cancer diagnosis and after the primary cancer has been treated or removed. So Aaron just said, Mike Rinder has never had cancerous tumors in his body. If that's the case, how could he have stage four cancer? That's the first question for anybody who can clear this up for me. Let's go on. Cancer cells was somehow coming from esophageal cancer. There were no tumors in his esophagus. He did not have any surgery to remove tumors. None of the medication he takes has reduced tumors. There never were any tumors. He has said he has a blood mutation Something about the expression of this blood mutation is creating the cancer cells and all this kind of stuff. He's taking uh, an expensive medication that he probably has to take for the rest of his life, but the medications like suppresses the expression of the blood mutation and he's cancer free. He's cancer free. Okay. So uh, we're not all attacking a man on his deathbed. Okay. And if he's been on his deathbed, why has he had so much time to dedicate to trying to kick me off the board and to, you know, uh, and uh, okay. That's, Further stuff, I, I just, I want to stick to the cancer thing. He said twice that he's never had cancerous tumors in his body. And yet, if you take a look at Mike Rinder's statement in the Leah Remini, sworn affidavit to the Leah Remini lawsuit, he said, it should be noted, and this is under oath, it should be noted that I am currently undergoing sta treatment for stage four esophageal cancer a fact publicly disclosed and of which Scientology is aware. In fact, tweets by Scientology operatives seemingly celebrate my diagnosis and poor health. So I am not able to reconcile what Aaron is saying with Mike's sworn statements. And then of course, we all know that Aaron claimed in an earlier video that he raised $20,000 for Mike's stage four esophageal cancer. And there's also blog post articles where Chrissy, Mike's wife, is thanking Tony Ortega and Yashir Ali and all the usual friend ring of these people for also raising money for Mike's stage four esophageal cancer. So I'm making no claim here. You understand? There is no claim. I'm not saying Mike Grinder was lying. I just don't understand this. But I do want to say one, one more thing about this. Mike Rinder was the number three man in the Church of Scientology for more than two decades. And when you are running a scam like the Church of Scientology, you, that means you get used to running scams. And you also, like if you look at Mike Rinder's job, when somebody w got enough information and woke up and realized that Scientology was a scam and they started warning the public or telling others that it was a scam, Mike Rinder's job was to shut them up. See, 
This is the ultimate scammer job. And you can sit there and say, well, he was brainwashed. He was brainwashed into being CO OSA every single day for 22 years, reporting directly to Miscavige and ruining countless people's lives for telling the truth about the scam he was running. See, again, I'm making no claims. I do not understand this. Please help me understand this.